covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The latest experimental addition to the Chrome browser promises to save a ton of power usage. A new flag in the Canary version of Chrome called Throttle JavaScript Timers in Background will cut down on the processing that normally happens in background tabs, and it could add two hours to a laptop's runtime. JavaScript's timers often track user interaction with a web page, checking things like the scroll position and add interaction while the tab is open. This also happens on background tabs, which really isn't useful since by definition a background tab isn't being interacted with. When you have a bunch of tabs open, these timers can chew through a good amount of battery for no reason. Normally, background tabs can trigger a wake up once per second. Now, in Canary, if you turn on the new Throttle JavaScript Timer setting, any tab that has been in the background for more than five minutes will have these timers disabled, with wake-ups limited to once per minute. Google ran, some to, uh, sorry, Google ran some tests to see what kind of impact this would have on battery life. For the first test, they used a 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro and loaded up 36 background tabs with a blank foreground tab, then let the laptop run until it died. With the feature turned on, the laptop lasted two hours longer, or 28% longer, than the default settings. That's a huge improvement, and it still can't get, but it still can't get Chrome up to the level of Apple's Safari, which bested Chrome by three hours with the default settings and by one hour with the new throttling flag. The first test showed just how much power can be sucked up by background tabs, but the next test was more of a real-world use case. It swapped out of the blank foreground tab for a YouTube video. With an actual foreground task going on, the difference was less dramatic, but still significant. Without throttling tabs, Chrome lasted 4.7 hours, and with throttling, it got an extra 39 minutes, lasting 5.3 hours. Safari was not included in the second test. While these are promising results, Google says they are still investigating how limiting background timers will affect web pages. While Google says that the work done from these JavaScript timers was often not valuable to the user when the page was in the background, they also don't want to break web pages which provide valuable background services like incoming chat and video messages, media playback, and notifications. After a 50% rollout on the Canary version, Google plans to gather feedback from web developers before the change hits the wider Chrome user base. You know, that's an interesting story because for my wife and I, who are both Chrome users, um, we often have a ton of tabs open. I mean, yeah. if I'm doing, you know, research for work or she's doing, you know, different things at home or we're helping the kids with school between their school work and, and the research that they're doing and the, the work that they're working on on their Google Docs, we could at any point have a couple dozen tabs open. And I mean, the, with my, uh, with our family computer, we've got the dual monitors and it's not uncommon for me to have a browser off to the one screen with two dozen tabs and then my main screen where I've got a couple of main tabs. And so to, to have, and, and granted it's not a laptop, but to have that power saving uh, is huge because not only is it less power on the computer that's being used, but over time you could see some savings in your, sure. you know, you mentioned it's not a laptop. And, and one of the things that Becca didn't touch on Jeff was performance. Yeah, And I do think about how even on our desktop computer at home, my youngest will have that same scenario, 20 tabs open, mm -hmm. and then he'll switch user. Oh, right. So, which is great because Linux Mint allows us to have multiple people logged in at once, but now we've got somebody else logging in and got double it, the tabs. Yeah. So his Java, JavaScript timers are still going off mm -hmm. in his browser on his profile. Yes. So I wonder how it would affect performance as well. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see. I mean, I, I know it's a small change yeah. going from one second to the one minute, but I'm really looking forward to see the impact because it, I, I do think it's going to be, uh, it will have that, you know, performance power, but, and especially for older devices. Uh, like if, you, if you've got an older laptop that's already struggling, I mean, not just battery saving, but if it does improve some of that background performance, 
uh, you know, that could breathe, you know, a little bit of extra life into those devices. So I think it's a great, great idea, great feature. Yeah, totally agree.